Hey Siri, play me versus me by Moneybag Yo. Cause mom make a feel it if it don't, if it don't make sense to me. All right, so when I brush my teeth, I brush my teeth with Crest 3D White. This is my favorite toothpaste, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. There's no need to lie. But at flossing, lied. I remember one time this guy asked me if I floss. I was like, nah, I don't. What type of question is that? My bad, y'all. It was not focusing, but that, yeah, you already see the vibes. And I'm gonna wash my face, but I'm gonna wash my face when I get in the shower. So I just rinsed my face off. So I bought this Lucky Charm box and I was like, yo, I've never tried making pancakes with Lucky Charms. If you're not fucking with Lucky Charms, what you really fucking with? How much milk is it though? One, two thirds. Okay, so the first thing we have is the marshmallows. Low keto, no bar. I'm not trying to spill it either, but that's what it looked like. Oh, this is about to hit. This is about to hit. Yep, yep, that look right, that look right. And I just want to really quickly say, if you're making pancakes and you ain't got no butter, what are you doing? Look at that. I gotta put this up, it's not even that hot. You want to make sure you're spreading the butter around because obviously the pancake is about to be on this. Oh, just one healthy ass pancake. I mean, y'all know what the vibes was giving. I wasn't about to make no punk ass pancake. I'm going to take my fruits out. I'm going to rinse them. Always rinse your fruits. They be putting too much shit in this food. Y'all know I'm not a chef, but I'm doing it. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, I burned it. That shit is smoking. So this is the ending result. Obviously, I mean, I burned it. Like, what I'm gonna do? I burned it. It is what it is. What you doing, girl, with all that? Damn. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. Can't think it out. I would never live without you by my side. I think you're beautiful. I think you're beyond it. And I just want to get behind it. Which one of y'all? Some moments, you guys. See, I sound like an angel in the shower. So once I get out of the shower. Bro, I wet my hair. And I really did not mean to wet my hair. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I do be singing all day songs in my head. Like, I don't even need my ear pods on or music playing. I feel like I like music where the pen game go crazy. Like, you say some shit, and I'm like, oh. Some people have good music. That Just because, you know, I don't like it don't mean you don't make good music. Because a lot of people do make good music. But my cup of tea is my cup of tea, son. We don't all have to have the same taste. We don't. So I have a friend who's coming to do her lashes, so I'm getting ready for that. I'm thinking about either cooking my pasta before she comes or after. I might do it before off the strength that I don't think I want to cook after doing lashes. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I should have been paying attention. I really should have. But I'm going to pay attention now because I'm not rushing. Before I go in the fridge, I never got to show y'all my little house shoes. Aren't they so cute? But they make mad noise. Ain't no sneaking with that. But you know, that's the grip. <laughs> So I have this, I seasoned it yesterday. It sat in the refrigerator for about 24 hours, not gonna lie. It's chicken, little chicken pieces. I'm gonna make some Alfredo panini. Hold on, we gotta do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna make some Alfredo panini. That's how you say it, right? Panini. And no, we ain't making no sauce from scratch. This is what we are going with. Nobody got time for all that. I'm hungry. So I got some water here. Ooh, shit, hot. I got some water in here for the pasta. I gotta grab some salt, you know, a little sprinkle or whatever. Okay, where is the salt? Oh, I see, I see. I'm too short for this nonsense. What's his name, the guy that be cooking? You know, Salt Bay. Okay, I made a little bit of a mess, but that's all right. Not too much though. I'm gonna end up using this one because it's bigger and it looks better. I don't care what nobody say. 
So I'm gonna wait till it starts sizzling. I'm gonna wait. I could put the pasta in. Put this in. You already know, wait till it boils. So I already put the pasta in there. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and we come back to that. We just gonna focus on the chicken, but we have to wait until this starts. You know what I mean. So I ended up having to move it here because this one was the biggest one. You hear that, right? Yeah, that's how you know. So let's get to it. Honestly, So this is the before. Listen, I don't know about y'all, but I always add a little bit of water because I like my shit juicy. And basically this was the end result of the meal. I would play the sound so y'all could hear the mac, you know, little cheese or whatever, but it was a lot of talking going on in the background. But it was good, 10 out of 10, I'm not gonna lie. Slap your mama is definitely the seasoning to use for an extra kick. So this right here ended up slapping. I didn't expect it to be that good. Of course, I had to show y'all what it looked like in the plate with my little toast bread, you know, garlic on it, all that. And of course, you know, you know I had my Bev with me. The juice is a 10 out of 10. I thought it was going to be trash, but everything, 10 out of 10. Then I did my friend's lashes. I see I could tell the before and after. You already know the vibes. So for dessert, we have cookie dough from Pillsbury, chocolate chip, and we have Betty Crocker, you already know the vibes, milk chocolate brownie mix. So let's get into it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little chilly, but it's all right. So for this, we need water, oil, and two eggs. And we just need to like t -t -t smash this all together. And we just gonna, we gonna see what we could do. So we have our bowl and we have our little whippy whippy whip. Okay. Here's the oil. We got jumbo eggs. Did I say here's the oil? This is the oil. This is the eggs. I know it says we need half a cup of oil, but I only got one fourth a cup. So we're gonna use two of these because that makes half a cup. Do the math. Um, is this not a lot of oil? It says I need two eggs. So here are two eggs. I mean, I should have opened this better, but. And then we need three tablespoons of water, but I'm gonna just do it. Yeah. Oh shit, Kaylin's the baker. Oh, my arm hurts. This shit thick. Okay, woo. It looks pretty good. I can't like, you know, put it out too much, but it looks pretty good. Hopefully we don't fuck this up like the pancakes. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side and onto the cookies we go. And then we have our saran wrap. Honestly, I'm not too sure how this part goes, but we're gonna try the best we can. So currently I have it like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash it and I'm gonna take this and put it over. Y'all gonna see, let me just do my thing. Oh shit, I fucked it up. But then you put this in here, on here. Okay, so obviously I didn't need the whole cake mix. You basically have to spread the chocolate out because if you don't spread it, Oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be too gushy. Fuck, I put too much. All right, I put too much chocolate. So you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and in the end, it's gonna look like this. A long ass salsi tone. So this is what it looks like, as you can tell. I over flooded with the chocolate. I should have chilled, but you know I'm a chocolate baby. I love me some chocolate, but you're gonna let it sit here for a minute until it feels a little, you know, hard and whatnot. And I'm gonna show y'all what I do after that, but we are gonna chill for 30 minutes. Not too sure what I'm gonna do with this, but hey, might as well make some brownies. So let's get to it. So according to the box, it says, depending on the size, 350, we just gonna do 350. Bake, 350, start. This is the before, sorry for the drip on the side. 
and now we're about to put it in. So I came to check on the cookie mix, and of course this is going to be soft, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of it once I get to cutting. But the cookie is pretty hard, not going to lie, but I'm going to let it sit for like mm, maybe 20 minutes, see how it is. So we're going to cut it up, and we're going to get it ready to bake. So basically this is what it looks like. It's not its best, but it's my first time doing it, and you know, it's the first time for everything you learn. Life is an experience, so let's put it in the oven. And at the same time, we're going to check on our cake. So we all know that the fudge was fucked up, but let me show y'all how big these cookies are. I should have cut them in smaller pieces. They healthy. They real healthy. But let's see how they come out. I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all a piece of my brownie. That's a piece of my brownie. <laughs> And this is the whole brownie, but I cut it into little pieces. Bottom of the cookie looks pretty good. You know, I like mine with a little crunch, so of course I want it to be a little darker. But the top, um, do we really gotta talk about it? <laughs> do we really gotta talk about it? I don't know what happened, y'all. So in the end, this is how everything looks. The brownie bites and the cookies. My bro said it tastes better than what it looked like, so don't judge it off the looks. But this is the bad batch right here. Um, don't make fun of me, all right? Don't make fun of me. But by the time I was done, I realized what time it was, and I was like, mm-mm, I gotta go to sleep. I'm tired as fuck. I was cooking all day. That shit tiring.